Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Jess Hilarious is here. Hey, y'all. And if you're just joining us, we're talking about Will Smith. Uh, they were actually all out. The whole family was out in Baltimore. Uh, of course, Jada Pinkett Smith's book was out, and they were at a book signing. And this is what he said. Can you love somebody forever, no matter what? Hey. <laughs> oh, boy, was like, mm. <laughs> I saw you, man. I saw your face. You know, can you show up and love somebody for the rest of your life, even when you don't agree with them? There ain't nobody on earth except you, mommy. You, mommy. My mommy. I almost messed up. I almost messed up. Jade is the best friend I have ever had on this planet. I am going to show up for her and support her for the rest of my life. So we're asking 800-585-1051. Can we love somebody uh, no matter what for the rest of their life, even if you don't agree? That is the question. Yes. Start off with you, Jess Hilarious. Hmm. Uh, it, it, it all is it's dependables. You have, it depends. I don't, ah. Uh. Cause that's such an open-ended question. I mean, mm -hmm. cause yes, you, I, I do. I can love somebody mm -hmm. no matter what even if I don't agree with them. But when you're looking at, in the Smith's case, oh, you gotta really be, I don't know. I, so I don't know. I can't say yes, I can't say no, I don't know. I could I could say yes, you can love somebody, and especially for them, they they will always be connected, especially because they have two for kids, sure. they have two children. Yeah. So you can always love somebody, you can always show up for them, regardless yeah. of right or wrong. You don't have to be in love with them, yeah. but you could always show up for somebody. You know what I mean? Say, it, it, you take your parents and your kids out of it because that's a different type of love. Yeah. But in a relationship, yeah, you could always show up for somebody, even if uh, whatever, whatever it is that hurts them, you can still show up for them. Yeah. I think so. Well, you know what? I think I'm thinking more so in terms of just intimacy just love your mm -hmm. your love because mm -hmm. to be honest that's how i feel about rome that's how i feel about my baby father mm -hmm. like you show up from regardless I, no matter what mm -hmm. your brother when i daddy. don't agree with him yep mm -hmm. when i don't agree with him no matter what but if you need you I, you're there that's my best friend that yep yep yeah, so you so, can yeah yeah Charlemagne. uh yeah there are plenty of people i could love no matter what even if we don't agree um but that doesn't mean I'm gonna have a relationship with them. There you, know you go. What I mean? That's that, what I think I was saying. That doesn't mean they're gonna still be in my life. Right. You know, I can love you from yeah. afar. You know, it's people yeah. that I will love all my life. There's people that I love right now, but mm -hmm. they're not in my life anymore. Well, and, there's and a difference. They never will be. Because he said he'll show up for them, but yeah. you won't show up for those people. No. Show up and support. <laughs> no. Is what he said. No. Yeah, so you won't not. show up for those people. Absolutely. Everybody not. in Baltimore said the same thing when when Will asked that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody knows it's just like nah. That's she the was difference weird. is is showing up for them. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's I love know them all enough that, that yeah. even though you don't agree, you might have to show up for them. Yeah, I ain't doing all that. Uh -huh. Not for those people, but I mean there are there are like I mean of course I mean God forbid it'll never happen. But if there was if that was like my wife, I'm all I would always be there for. Regardless, my wife. that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, regardless of what it is, yeah. you're gonna show up for. Yeah, yeah. regardless. Right, no matter what was that little space for? Like I mean, I mean it's all, like, this is a tough question because. You right. never know what bridge you're willing to cross until you get until to that bridge. You get there. So it's easy to say, yeah, I'll be there no matter what until you get presented with yeah. a scenario. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. you know, you don't know. You might, it's a lot of different scenarios that you'd be like, yeah, I love you, but you got to stay over there with that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let your new dude, right. you know, handle that business. Yeah. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. let's, let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? What's going on, brother? This is Leon from Georgia. Leon from Georgia. Talk to me, Leon. Yeah, man. So in, in reference to your question, I'm going through something that's kind of similar. I've uh, been in a marriage for 14 years, and uh, I believe that it has to come to a point where you walk away, but you can still love them from a distance. That's right. I think it's a it's a toxic thing that we've been taught in our community, like just hold on regardless of what it looked like and mm -hmm. what it feel like. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's to our detriment, man. So. In some situations, you just got to love them from a distance. I don't have to tear them down, right. but I have to understand that if it's breaking me down, I can't keep staying in the same place. That's right. Mm -hmm. I got you. Thank you, brother. Hello, who's this? Hey, good morning. Peace and blessings. How you doing today? Hey, Sean Stone. What's up, brother? I'm good, brother. I want to chime in on the topic. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Sean. Go ahead. Good morning, good morning Charlotte. Peace, King. I'm in this loud-ass truck, so I had to turn it off real quick. Yeah, I think Will Smith be tripping, man. I don't want to really talk on their relationship like that, but 
I don't really feel like you could have uncondi- unconditional love for somebody when they continue to play you out. You know what I mean? See, but that's the thing. Yeah. We don't know what their conversations are behind the scenes. You know what I mean? We we just well, assuming, but they they might be comfortable well, talking about this. Them, though. What Sean is saying, what Sean is saying is true because you can have unconditional love for a person, but that don't mean you still got to deal with that person. I can love mm-hmm. you. I think I got to deal with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah but take yeah, it take it out of Will Smith and right. your relationship. <laughs> right now, of Will Smith. Pause. I will. Yo, pause. pause. Yeah. But listen, man, you had this girl, this lady, sit down at the red ter- table talk, talking about August blowing her back out, right? Yeah, I yeah. Thank you for your relationship, man. And if I was in Will Smith's shoes, I would not stay with Jada, man. But I you, but time out, time out. You, Jada. but hey, that's a great point. You not Will Smith. Like you, mm, I don't I know, know if you, Sean. I don't know if you've ever been in love. You might be in love with a person, of course, who made a mistake. Just like a man might make a mistake. You want that woman to forgive you. You might be willing to forgive yeah. that woman if you really yeah. love her. But yeah. we don't know who was, who, who's Hold Will on. Smith was. Hold he he might have been blowing somebody back out too. Most like you don't know what their relationship was about. That's all I'm saying. They yeah. might have an open Sean, relationship. Charlamagne, we do make mistakes, and we should give each other grace. But when mistake and mistake after mistake and come yeah, on, bro, mistake. at he some he, point he, your grace gonna run out. Once. That is true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yes. What's that, well, I want to say this real quick. Mm. You know that guy don't like you that called up on the radio show. He wish he was you. Who are you talking Trad. about? Oh. He wish it was you, Jeff. The guy he earlier. Wish. Yes. Yes, he wish he was you. He be hating on you on him, the low. Him for real. got beef. Oh, they, oh okay. Yeah, no, so I'm, no, I'm yes. team Sean. He really yeah. don't like you. He don't like you, Jeff. He, he told. He told room. me. I I can hear it all in his voice that he don't like me. But yeah. Trav yeah. don't like girls, Sean. That's what's up. But you could. You could compliment Jess on doing her thing on the radio show. If Charlamagne Envy gave you an opportunity to come up on the Breakfast Club and you co-host, don't be saying that Jess and Jason Lee is your daughter and your son. Come on, be appreciative of the opportunity. And you he's right, whack for right. Trav. Go check me out too, Sean Stone TV on, on YouTube. I ain't no Trav said right. that. Because that really did hurt my feelings now that he bring it up. Did it hurt your feelings? Mm-hmm. Sean got a whole transcript of what Trav said. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right. <laughs> 800-585-1051. The question is, can you love somebody regardless for the rest of their life, regardless of, of how you feel about them or what they do? That is the question, correct? Yeah, no matter what. Okay, we'll take your calls. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Jess Hilarious. Now, if you're just joining us, we were talking about Will Smith. He was in Baltimore yesterday with Jada Pinkett Smith and the whole family talking about uh, their book. And he had this to say. Can you love somebody forever, no matter what? Hey. <laughs> oh, boy, was like, mm. <laughs> I saw you, man. I saw your face. You know, can you show up and love somebody for the rest of your life? Even when you don't agree with them, there ain't nobody on earth except you, mommy. You, mommy. My mommy. <laughs> I almost messed up. I almost messed up. Jade is the best friend I have ever had on this planet. I am going to show up for her and support her for the rest of my life. So we're asking 800-585-1051, could you? Could you love somebody regardless for the rest of their life? I'm missing something in all of this because I don't know what all the stipulations are with love. When y'all just talk about the feeling of love, yes, I can love a person, but that don't mean I got to deal with you. But he also says show up for him. Oh, okay, see, that's the part I missed. That I'm not doing. Mm -hmm. But but then to me, it's a case-by-case basis. There's There's people that I genuinely love right now who not in my life no more. But I ain't showing up for you. You ain't showing up for Yeah. Him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Love you from afar. Same. You got to handle that. It's the same. Hello, who's this? This is Ashley from Detroit. Ashley, what up, though? What up? So I was going to comment on the topic about the, um, can you stay with somebody if you don't love them or whatever? And I feel like a lot of people get married for stability and not love. Mm-hmm. I was talking to a guy and he said he was married for stability. So he's not necessarily in love with his wife, but they have a home, car, insurance, all that that is required for him to live and required for her to live. And so they stay together. She cooks meals for him. He do work around the house or whatever. He feels like a man's role should be filled in that situation. Mm-hmm. And she fills the role as a woman, and that's how they exist. And they're going to be together forever. Mm, and they're both okay with that. 
they're both okay with that. Well, they she like it. she won't necessarily say it in the way that he says it, but she says it in a way that says, "I'm not necessarily in love with this man. Like this is not the man of my dreams." However, this is what he provides. This is what I provide, and this works. Okay. So we have peace in our home for the sole simple fact that we don't have to worry about certain things financially or with the kids, or we don't have to worry about where we're going to go, or we're going to be, mm-hmm. or struggle about certain things because we work together. Yeah, so they just settled. Thank you, Mom. Stability. That's just what it was. Hello, who's this? Mm. What's going on? It's Ace and Billy Rapper Crew. Ace, Ace and Billy. Talk to us. What up? Hi, hi Jess. Hi, Jess. I got to say that first. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. But nah, I think women and children get love unconditionally, but but not Jada. Damn. Damn. Why? You got Will looking crazy. Man, could y'all stop I got to understand that <laughs> Will was that guy, bro. He Will was is. that N-word. He still is she that guy. She treated bro. him like he went on stage and Chris slapped him and told him to sit down. Man, can we talk about you? Could you love somebody unconditionally? Stop worrying about Will. Could you love? Could you love somebody unconditionally, mm. no matter what? Yeah, I mean, I could, but you know, relationships is transactional. You know what I mean, it's about how you make each other feel. No, and as not. long as you know, what I mean, we make each other feel. What you? I don't. As believe, long as we making each other I, feel. I don't believe relationships are transactional. Why not? Because I don't like that word transactional. Yeah. Transaction mean I give you something and you give me something. That, that's not how I base my relationships. Mm-hmm. I love but, you. But you, you, you got to be realistic at the end of the day, man. A lot of people getting divorced because of transactions. I don't mean monetary reason. That don't mean I don't love that person, though. No. I'm just I'm just choosing not to be in this relationship no more. Okay. I, I, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. But what, well, what's the moral of the story, guys? To me, the moral of the story is stop fumbling good people. Like, if you know a good human's in your corner, cherish that, nurture that. Stop acting like people are disposable and replaceable. Because I love hard. So mm-hmm. if you're in my life and I grow to love you, I'm going to stand on that. If you do something to me that makes me not stand on that anymore, I'm going to move. going to always love you, but that don't mean I'm going to still be standing here. Mm-hmm. That's all. Mm-hmm. It, that's, why are you looking at me like that? I'm just listening. Oh. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Look at I'm me just with a sense of disgust. <laughs> Like, why? Well, Jess. <laughs> Yo, I just feel Jess, like, listen. The no, I'm m- giving you a second because we got Jess with the mess coming up and I'm giving you a second to know what you're going to talk about. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Well, I want to uh, hear her moral of the story, though. Uh, all right. <laughs> um, the moral of the story is <laughs> just... <laughs> No, the more the I, I mean shit. I mean, ooh, oh, I ain't, I ain't. Okay, Jess with the mess. What See, we yeah, got? I, told you, <laughs> you try, I was trying to guide I mean, her into it's safe, like, it's it's a safe nothing. zone, and you just let her go. Go ahead. <sighs> I, the moral of the story is you just don't be with somebody unless you really, really love that person. Like you can't be sitting there talking about are you willing to stay with somebody no matter what, no matter what they do. Because I don't care. Jada was looking up like, <laughs> okay, like she was looking up like she didn't even agree with what he was saying. I don't care. I don't care. Stop sitting here doing this for these people. Stop. That's why I hold Baltimore like, you pick here? You could have did this in Philly. Why are you talking like this to us? We don't even care. Like, like we know. We see what's going oh my on. God, man. We know Jada's struggle. You know we, we know. We, we should have just went it. with Jess with the mess. I told you. We should have just went <laughs> with the mess. What we got? More Jada and Will. That's what we got when we come back. Wait, you sure? Yeah, I don't think more? so. I don't think there's Y'all no more. Y'all didn't even read the book. I don't even think there's more. Well, it, don't nobody <laughs> else need to even read the book. <laughs> All right. We'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.